car coming here, creeping. There's kind of like a sketchy truck. There's at least two guys in there. If you can see their brake lights here, they keep like stopping and going super slow. There's another car there being cut.
What's up guys? Welcome to Tolbers Camping. Just out in the middle of the woods like always, having a little bonfire, having a little coffee. Already had some s'mores as you saw, and uh, I did have some dry food. Nice and easy this time. I promise next time I will actually make some real food. I just had a few uh, dry foods sitting around, so I wanted to finish one of them up. I had to reposition there. The smoke was coming like directly at me. Around 50 degrees Fahrenheit out here right now. So uh, feels very comfortable for me. I got like a little sweater on. I actually forgot my coffee cup. So we kind of had to use the same thing we cooked in. But I mean, I guess the coffee's the same. It's just not as comfortable in the hands and doesn't look as cool. A lot of the wood out here is actually pretty wet. So I mean, I didn't really try to do a fancy job of making like a TP and having a big tall fire. I just kind of threw it all in there. But got some decent sized logs i mean it's it's still you know a fire it's just nothing impressive as you guys can see i actually brought a real coffee maker for fun this time because uh shout out to pecron they sent me this power station this one's actually a thousand watt power station so it's able to handle a, a coffee machine the coffee machine's actually on um, it was taking almost 800 watts of energy when it was actually making it but now it's just kind of maintaining the heat you can see it's taking up 22 watts, 21 watts. That is with the lights running, um, which don't take up too much. And then those accent lights also. But we're down to 80%, which is still a ton. We've got to pick up 40 pieces of trash tonight. It looks like uh, Love's diaper is going to be one of them. So we'll look around and find some trash. I found a lot of little things. So um, little papers and just little things people left. So we'll be cleaning this area up tonight. But here's a little look. There's like a farmland over there. Shout out to Pecron for sending me this E1000 power station. They sent it to me basically for free. I just need to talk about it in this video a little bit. So if you guys would hang in there with me, let me just go over a brief description and why I actually like this thing. So this thing is 1,028 watt hours, which is basically over twice what my Blue Eddy that I normally have in my van is. If you guys saw one of my previous videos, I actually tried to run a Keurig off that thing and it shut down instantly. I have a clip of me trying this at my house with my Keurig, which would pulled over 1,300 watts and this actually handled it. So that was very impressive. And there's actually really good review online of this versus Jack Hero 1000 and this basically beats it in like 9 out of 10 different settings. This is like a $300 to $400 cheaper than the Jack Hero 1000. This thing charges a lot faster than the Jack Hero 1000. I think it takes less than 5 hours from 0 to full from a wall outlet and the solar panels on this also charge a lot faster than Jackery. When I plugged this into my wall, it actually was charging at about 230 and went up to almost 250 watts once it get closer to being full. I think the Jackery charges about 160. So as you can see, obviously this is gonna charge a lot quicker. This has 1,028 watt hours, whereas the Jackery has 1,002 watt hours. The LCD screen on this is a lot cooler. It actually shows you like how much is going in, how much is coming out. It gives you an estimate of like how long it'll take to charge or how long it'll take to run out at whatever watts you're using it has these little caps on it this is where you plug it in to your walls or your solar panels or to your car charger and this one is where you want to have your dcs out it has like four different extensions on it one's for like your car plugins and then it has like a male and female ends then you got two usb plugins on the front and it's got this little switch on the back it's got four ac outlets two are just regular and then it's got two of the grounding ones it's got a nice handle on it feels very solid it's just a big box a lot of power in it i do like that the plugs actually have like a little place where you can screw them in on it so like you can't accidentally slightly pull it out and then stuff stop powering without you knowing it you get a one year warranty with this power station and then if you like sign within 30 days like you register then it'll get an extra year so you like two year warranty this is what you use to plug in your solar panels and i guess what's nice about this is you can plug in your basic solar panels to this whereas like the jack Air 1000 they make it so you have to get their uh solar panels so if you have regular solar panels already at home you can actually use it with this thing this is like so you can plug into your car if you want to charge it while you're driving your vehicle then they give you four of these like little safety plugins and i don't know if you have kids or something you worry about them or if you want to keep it maybe dry or get not get dirt in there and it also comes with like two little fuses I mean, it's a nice little bag you know it holds what you need in there got a little car coming here creeping guys there's kind of like a sketchy truck there's at least two guys in there if you can see their brake lights here they keep like stopping and going super slow i don't know if they're just trying to check me out and see what i got going on obviously i carried that like nice power station and stuff back in here so i didn't show myself like uh 
packing back up, but I'm by myself and I do not have, you know what, to shoot. So, uh, I got some bear baits and like a knife and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to hang out here or if I'm going to go to a different spot tonight. I mean, I got my setup basically ready to go. I just, uh, everything's back in the van. The fire's basically burnt out. So if I have to roll out of here, I just don't want them to be scoping me out. And then tonight try to come in here and uh, maybe mess with the van or try to, you know, rob me of what I got in here. So I'm just finishing up my coffee right now. I got the lights off in here just because I don't want them to be able to see in here very well. Just in case they are being uh, weirdos and trying to see what I got going on. They may be cool. Maybe they're just dealing with some uh, vehicle issues, but you never know, man. When you're out in the middle of the woods by yourself, people do weird stuff, dude. So I'm kind of laying low right now. The fire is basically almost out. I'm not going to put any more logs on that thing. Just going to relax, have the rest of my coffee here, and then we'll turn the lights on. There's another car there being kind of sketchy. Um, not as sketchy as the other car, but just uh, finishing packing up. I'm not sure if I want to put the window shades up or not yet, just in case I got to roll. I don't want to uh, not be able to see out the windows. Well, guys, it's almost pitch dark out here. The phone does make it look a little bit brighter. The fire is basically out. Those people left, thankfully. I'm a little iffy tonight, but I'm going to start putting on my uh, window shades here now, and then we'll get inside. Well, guys, I am in the safe van. Uh, I have all the window shades up. That was by far the most sketchy situation I've been in van camping. It's kind of hard to describe, but uh, people were going extremely slow and being really weird. The second one might have been some kids doing something they shouldn't be. But uh, the first one was just really weird. It took him about 10 minutes to go in. I mean, he was going super slow. He was leaning out like as if he was like listening for the sound of his car or something. But I, I've never heard somebody go that slow. And just especially when you're right by somebody to be that weird. Like wouldn't you just go down the road a little bit? So I know there was a passenger in there. I don't know if there's other people in the back. He had really tinted windows. It's just kind of weird, especially when you, know, you have a nice power station. You got some nice equipment inside your van. And if you never know if somebody's trying to like scout you out, see if you have a weapon to uh, see what you have or see if you're a single female or something thankfully i'm a male but if i was a female a pretty female you never know what would happen it says it's 49 fahrenheit in here and 47 outside obviously i just shut the door and i do not have any heat on I did bring my mr buddy heater but i actually don't plan to try to stay up too much longer so i may just leave that off well guys i got something else sent to me that's pretty awesome this is a get out gear that's the company name this is a down puffy blanket. This is rated like 4.6 or 4.7 stars on Amazon. So it's got a lot of reviews and it seems to be a really good blanket. So that's why I accepted it. Uh, basically, it's got this little strap here. You just unclip this and then you kind of untwist it. This is not thick. It's a pretty thin blanket, but it's got that like nice cool thing. That nice cool feeling where when you lay down, you're just like, ah, that you kind of want on a pillow. So I love that because I do not like being hot when I go to sleep. So I can see I got the black and the blue. They have different color choices. It does have three little clips on it. So I think you can wear it like a blanket around you so that you don't have to hold the blanket. Say you're sitting around a bonfire or something that's a little cool out. You can kind of have it on you. And I guess it has water resistance spray in it. Let me try to wear it like a little cape. There we go, guys. I probably look super weird, my little uh, blank, but this is actually nice, especially if it's like slightly sprinkling and it's going to keep you dry, I guess, and then keep you warm enough. It's not going to keep you hot or anything like that, but if it's, you know, a nice little October night and you just want to throw a little comfy blanket around you, I think this is pretty nice. So obviously you can unclip it. It's got those three clips. This is not a sleeping bag like I normally have, which keeps your top and bottom warm. This is just for on top of you. It's just a blanket on top. So that's why I brought my wife's blanket to keep me warm underneath because I'm not gonna be running that heat or anything tonight. And it's actually supposed to get pretty chilly. So I'll let you guys know if this keeps me warm. I'll have a link in the description if you guys wanna check this blanket out on Amazon, read the reviews, see if it seems like something that's uh, useful for you. And then I'll have a link in the description for that Pecron power station also. So shout out to Pecron and Get Out Gear. I appreciate the free product. Ooh, she looks comfy, guys. I'm excited. The only thing bad about my setup is because the way I parked, I'm kind of on a slant. So hopefully I'm not like sliding down my cot all night. Normally you want to park very flat if you can. At least keep your, high, your head a little bit higher. But uh, worst case scenario, I learned my lesson and I start sliding down all night. And I'll make sure not to do it again.
and I've showed you guys before, but I have those extension legs on my cot, which is really nice because then I can put everything under here. It says it's 47 out, 53 in here. The van is saying it's 47. Let's take a look outside, see if there's anything sketchy out there. This is the spot I was at once and I saw eyes through that field. Obviously there's not a big field right here, but you never know, dude. I got my coffee ready for the morning, poured some water in there. So all I gotta do is just press start on this thing. We're gonna have some coffee. Obviously I don't always wanna use a coffee machine, but sometimes you gotta switch it up. Just having some ice cold water with my Tolbers camping cup you've probably seen before. And uh, just trying to flush some caffeine out of me so I can wind down here and hopefully get to bed at a reasonable time. I'm actually excited to try out this blanket, my comfy pillow. A little bit of slant, but hopefully I don't slide down too much tonight. By far the sketchiest experience I've had, but like I said, it's going to motivate me to get my license to carry just to be prepared. I don't want to ever have to use it, but you never know. Um, people are weird out there, so if something like this happens again, it's just nice to know you have something to protect yourself besides just bear mace and uh, a little small knife. Pecron, that company that sent me that E1000, they also have an E3000, which is like super sweet. I've done research on both. Um, I really like that E3000. Obviously, 3000 watts of power, but I mean, if you're in a van, I mean, that will power your lights, Keurig, coffee machine, electric grill. I mean, and it'll last you a couple of days. And then like they got solar panels that like can charge that thing up at like 1200 watts an hour, which would charge it super fast. Well, guys, I am just relaxing in the comfy van in the middle of the woods, about to read Healing Scriptures by Joseph Prince. I don't think he gives much commentary in this. I think it's just basically healing scriptures uh, from the Old and New Testament, and he just kind of makes them very easy to read, highlights a little bit of it. Uh, so I am going to be reading this and winding down here. guys just having some coffee here it's really chilly out right now uh, i think it's like in the low 40s so it got down to i think like 36 fahrenheit it said we got some butane got like a little can got some of that what is it called that tin stuff just like little plastic caps this woods is really pretty though i like it real peaceful 
the sun's actually behind the cloud at the moment but when that sun's coming out especially when i first woke up it was like coming through at an angle it looked awesome in these woods here's those like fly sweater things people are using for their marshmallows and we got little pieces of paper like that and stuff can't forget the diaper this bird was coming around me a lot yesterday people must feed him like he's kept coming close to me and he's not being like weird like he's trying to protect his babies he just looks like he likes to get fat i guess hi buddy hi buddy watch he won't fly super far like he keeps staying close this beautiful sunny day got a big cloud the sun's behind right now but here's that cul-de-sac and dirt road i came down look at there's another bird it's staying close why do these birds stay so close? He's like, what's up, bro? I want some coffee. I'm like right on the edge of this like private land in the state forest. Nice little field. I stayed here once and I saw some eyes back in this location. I obviously didn't get out last night, but here's the van. So you'll see one of my videos where I'm actually parked here. Look at him. He wants to say what's up buddy friendly bird probably want food normally i try not to come out to these state forests during the weekend because that's when you get a lot of people and that's why last night was pretty sketchy but it was a saturday night now it's sunday morning so you know you still got people driving around but thankfully nobody messed with me or the van but i'll definitely be getting that uh, license to carry for protection so by far the sketchiest uh, feeling and situation i've had so far but we got through it and now we're going to be more prepared in the future Well, it's nice to have a fire pit at this location. I actually want to get one of those like pop-up fire pits. So it's like leave no trace type of thing. Sets up in like less than a minute. And you can basically have a fire anywhere without uh, having to dig a hole and make sure everything's far away from it so you don't burn it. I might get that before my next trip. Well guys, we picked up 40 pieces of trash. Next stop will be 50 pieces of trash. Bag's starting to get a little bit bigger. I do have a little bit of stuff in here, but majority of that is actually from picking up. As always, there's a lot of cigarette butts. I picked up quite a few cans, like a baby diaper, um, just shotgun shell, a couple things like that. But eventually these things will start getting pretty full. At least I remember to bring my gloves this time. Gotta throw these away. Well guys, we're all packed up, about to head out of here. Very easy pack up. We picked up 40 pieces of trash, so we're leaving this place better than we found it. Be 50 next time, so I'm excited for that. Might have to start bringing those big black garbage bags eventually. Um, so we had a fire, had some fun, hung out with the birds, and uh, I'm about to head out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>